So I'm here today uh, with this wonderful backdrop and I'm here with Chrissy from CC Weddings and Events. So thank you so much for meeting me. Hi Kim, thank Hi. you. Hi. So um, tell me about yourself, where are you from and what do you do? Uh, well, I'm from Sweden originally. My father is French, my mom is Swedish, okay. uh, but I've lived in France for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a wedding planner and event planner. Uh -huh. I also have a luxury concierge to my business. Okay. Okay. So how long have you, been, have you been doing this, being an event planner, and how did you get into it? Uh, this year I've been an event planner and a wedding planner for over about four years uh -huh. for my own business, for CC uh -huh. Weddings and Events. But before that I was always working for private clients. I also work to luxury villas and I come from the background of uh, yachting. Oh, okay. so from so that you were a back, yeah, awesome. I used to be yachting for about what, I can't even remember uh, ten years. All right, okay. uh, back in four years, and I also worked in luxury luxury properties for the, the villa only. We had yachts, mm -hmm. so a lot of parties, camping places, all micro grand prix, all that. So I was kind of still, even if I worked on land, I was still uh, involved in yachting. What um, services do you offer to um, uh, to to clients? in terms of um, wedding planning. So let's talk about uh, what services. Wedding planning, I do not work with presented, so I prefer to do the wedding packages. Okay, okay. so fixed price wedding packages. Yes, so okay. I have, it can be custom made, I can, you know, add or take some off as yeah. well, depending yeah. on the client's needs. I'm so always bringing trying to, everything together yeah, exactly. within their budget and their constraints. Exactly. Yeah. So tell me about the process. So let's imagine that I'm a bride and, um, and I think I want a wedding planner. So how do I go about starting the process with you? And I found you and I contact you. How does the process work? Uh, well, basically I get inquiry either through my website mm -hmm. or straight away on email or by Instagram. I get quite a lot of that as yeah. well at the moment. Brilliant. And I send them my email. And if they have a budget, that's a great help because First then I know start, exactly yeah. where, you know, I don't want to propose something they do not have a to. Yes, yeah. Or if they have a higher budget, I'd like to make sure they get the villa or yeah, the villa exactly. or the venue they want they so, want. Mm -hmm. okay. so that's the starting process yeah, yeah. then i will send them my packages my prices and everything and then we go most likely to have a zoom mm -hmm. uh, because uh, meeting face to face is quite hard when they're in another country yes sure <laughs> I, what would you say would be the main reason that somebody would choose to have a, a wedding planner rather than plan it themselves you know what what's the benefits well the main having... reason i would say is because obviously they're, they're not here they yeah, can't sure. negotiate, they can't see, they can't mm -hmm. meet the vendors. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the reason I, my clients, the international clients, mm -hmm. hire me to be you know, the middleman and everything. Mm -hmm. And the benefits to have a wedding planner, obviously, is to make sure it's less stress. stress um, and also that you have somebody there to start helping you from mm -hmm. the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. Somebody to trust, somebody to lead you the way mm. and help you with contacts and making sure you get the best, the best, best prices. Yeah. So the day itself then, um, let's say that I've chosen the package, um, the on the day coordination package. So you turn up on the day and you're yes, there, we, we normally you're there from sun up till sundown or? Uh, well basically if you coordinate your day, I would probably meet with the clients before. Yeah. At least once, so I, I want to meet them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to just turn up, so I would have met them before. We're going through the planning of the day, like exactly how they want If there's a church wedding, for example. Um, I'll get all the readings and who will be doing singing or for example yes. what's happening um, there. Um, so basically I'm there, I'm happy at the venue setting up, making sure all the vendors are there mm. in time and I do help with setting up the tables and table arrangements as well. So I'm, I'm a hands-on person, a hands-on planner. Yeah, so um, and then we're there to obviously the, the guests arrive and greet, greet the guests and then obviously cocktail and everything. And, it all depends because I have many different, obviously we have church weddings, we have so many at the mm. venues, um, so it's all different, obviously all weddings, but I like to be there to the end of the first dance. Do you still have availability for this year? At the moment, I have one inquiry pending, mm -hmm. if they book, then no, then and I'm they're the last booked. one. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I find fantastic. It, Congratulations, that's think, wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, weddings for 2022. Do you have any predictions or any predictions in terms of um, the styles and the themes and what you can see as the trends for weddings for this for this coming year? Ooh. But I have quite a lot of beach weddings this year. I have yeah. Plage Keller. So as in they're getting married on the beach or yeah. they're having some kind of ceremony on the yeah, beach? Yeah, ceremony on the beach. So when you're ceremony on the beach, we do tend to have you know the romantic, a bit of campus, mm. a bit of boho chic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do like that. Um, we have one wedding particular will be 
slightly boho chic is one of Jardin Tropicina mm -hmm. in Saint Tropez, and yes. that has like amazing pampers, yeah, you know, yes, yes. so which is one of my actually favorite yeah, yeah. styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you did a wedding um, not so long ago at the Palais de. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's artistic as a venue, isn't it? I know, it? it's amazing. Beautiful. I must admit, when I went, when I first went to visit, it's just literally the wow. It's just amazing. But it's just the air, it's just the view is just to die for. Yeah, yeah. Oh, beautiful. What do you love the most about being a wedding planner? I have a people. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I have this thing. Um, I love making people happy. Mm -hmm. I love smiles. Um, I love the, the joy. Mm. I actually thrives a little bit on that and I think um, it comes from my having a huge amount of empathy. Mm. So when I see people happy, it makes me happy as well. If couples do want to get in touch with you, um, obviously for this year, I think we're saying that um, that you're fully booked, yes. sadly, yeah. for, the, for the 2022 couples. But for people getting married next year and the year after, how can they get in touch with you? What's the best uh, way? Well, either through my website or mm -hmm. Instagram account. What's I your said? Instagram? Instagram is CC Weddings and Events. Okay, brilliant. And uh, yeah, just send me an email and I'll um, respond with my packages and my availability. Uh, we already have three books for next year. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, and I have two inquiries. Yeah? Yeah, it's getting really busy. So getting quick. Yeah. Oh, oh, I love that. Um, well, thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank um, you. Yeah, it was wonderful to learn about your process and um, what you do for, for couples. It was really lovely to, uh, to meet you today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.